tonight I am going to be imaging a very beautiful reflection nebulae in the constellation of Orion and is designated as Messier 78. This nebula sits right between Barnard's Loop and the Horsehead Nebula, and if you're wide enough, you can get all of them in a single frame. But I'm going to get up close and personal to this target and shoot it just by itself. And there is a lot going on in this target, and it would just make for a beautiful image. I will be shooting this with the same telescope setup as always, which is the Quattro 150P. For the telescope, the mount is the Ioptron Sim 26. The camera is the ASI 585, and the guide camera is the 120mm Mini, along with the 30mm guide scope from SV Boney. And to control everything, I will be using the ASI Air in the phone app as usual. This pair of equipment causes for a perfect framing on this target, and I kind of went at an angle to kind of get the surrounding HA around it that streams off from Barnard's Loop. I did get about 10 hours of data on it last night and it is looking so good. So I'm very excited to get more data and see what I can get out of this. It is pretty crucial you get a lot of data because this target is rather dim. It will not show up very easily in say an hour or two of data. You're definitely going to need to soak in integration time and from dark skies. It has overall been a pretty warm December. The nights are getting pretty cold and frosty, but the days have been actually pretty warm and comfortable. I could probably sit on the porch right now and just hang out as long as you just have a, a jacket or a hoodie on so we might not be getting a white Christmas this year unfortunately or maybe not even snow at all with the way things are going but honestly for astrophotography it's fine because you're not literally freezing to death every single time you come out to check the rig or to just do astro so that's definitely a plus to the warmth now if you haven't tried to shoot this target you definitely need to find dark skies or if you live in dark skies that is great this target is just so beautiful and if you shoot this with like an ha filter there is a lot of ha you can get on the surrounding especially if you're wide in actually getting it with barnard's loop an ha filter combined with broadband data will be great but narrowband data on this target alone will not be that great to be honest you want to have broadband data on this target for the longest time, I had these star spikes that were split, even when focused, and I could never figure out why. So finally, I took the whole secondary assembly out of the telescope, and I realized one of the spider veins were actually bent. So I was able to bend it back to its normal position, and now they're actually gone almost. They're still a little bit there, but it's way, way, way better and way more subtle than it was to begin with. I never knew that that was actually something that could happen, but yeah, if you guys are getting double spikes in your Newtonian telescopes, that could be why. You were either out of focus or your spider veins might actually be bent. So you might want to look into that. Uh, you can also replace spider veins if you really can't fix it by yourself, which is a good thing. That's why I like Newtonians is because you can replace mirrors, replace spider veins. You can uh, flock it to reduce reflections. You can just modify it a lot to tweak it to your liking. And that's why I absolutely love these telescopes. going to go ahead and start setting up now. I'm going to open the ASI Air phone app here. I got the telescope all set up. We are still polar aligned from uh, last night, so that's fine. But uh, I'm need to check up the focus again. Collimation should be fine. I haven't really touched the scope since. So we don't actually have much setting up to do since I already did that uh, on the other night of imaging. So really, we just got to run through focus to get a uh, slew. We might guide calibrate again. And, and then just continue imaging. I'm pretty happy with the improvement of my images now that I have pics in sight. My processing has been so much better with that. I already have learned so much and I've been using Blur Exterminator too, which is a super powerful sharpening tool for your astro images and it just makes a world of difference. And I'm just super motivated because of that. And I honestly gotta say, it has been just a huge help to my astro image. I am just uh, slewing and plate solving to M78 and it is just the perfect temperature out here right now. It's not too cold, not too warm. As long as you have like a hoodie or jacket on, it's like the perfect temperature to uh, come do Astro right now. It's actually quite comfortable. But it is just a magnificent night out here. I absolutely love the winter sky. It is so beautiful right now. Orion's nice up and high. Pleiades is almost straight up above. Jupiter is almost straight up above. Uh, Kindness Major is on the horizon rising right now. Oh, it's just such a gorgeous night. 
overall i put in four nights of imaging and i also got ha data which made it so much better the nights i shot this were also the peak of the Gemini meteor shower which was amazing to see and these were just some really great and memorable nights